Morning everybody, it's uh, Rob, Yoga Dads, uh, day four of our summer stretch challenge together. Really honoured, really delighted actually that you've uh, taken the time out, there's 15 minutes um, that we've got together this morning to prioritise um, yours and mine, uh, health and well-being um, as we share this virtual space. Um, another beautiful day in Bristol, outdoors again obviously, as would be um, custom to a summer stretch challenge and um, I'll get started in just a second but before I get going um, just as a reminder as much as this is about you know stretching and prioritizing health and well-being it's all also about raising awareness and donations for some amazing local charities so we've got Age UK, uh, Bristol, um, we've got Julian House on domestic abuse and um, we have Cajun Food Bank as part of the Trust for Trust um, we've got Suicide Prevention Bristol, St Mungo's for Rough Sleepers and Off the Record Bristol um, for Young People's Mental Health. I'll include the link to the donation page um, as part of the um, clip. Feel free to share, comment, um, you'll be entered into a draw at the end if you do share and comment um, where you can win a free one-to-one -one, uh, with me at the end of the six-week challenge. So yeah, anyway, let's get started. So just bringing yourself into a comfortable seated position this morning. Um, so again, I'm with my trusty IKEA stool. And we're just going to start again, as we've done for most days this week, just with our palms across our knees and just lifting one set of toes up and then the other and just placing them nice and gently one at a time back down onto the floor. I'm really feeling that grounding down through all four corners of the balls of the feet, the heels. I'm just really feeling that connection. Closing the eyes. And as you do so, really feeling that length now all the way up towards the ceiling, the sky that may be above you today. And that expansiveness across the chest, the shoulders, really feeling as though you're kind of expanding across all four corners of the room or all the way out into your garden or wherever you are this morning. And as we lengthen up, we're also grounding down, so grounding down through the tailbone or the floor. And the chair that you find yourself on this morning and grounding down through the feet, through all four corners again, as I said earlier. Let's slowly open our eyes, nice soft gaze. And as we've started each time this week, we're going to, going to go through some shoulder rotations. So again, with our palms across our knees, just rubbing gently along our thighs as we rotate in one direction, and then the other, just exploring that range of movement that's available today. And if it feels comfortable, the option is now just to start taking the arms, the elbows away and just rotating nice and gently in one direction and then the opposite direction. It might feel quite different now as we kind of introduce some more strength work for the top of the shoulders. So just go again with whatever feels comfortable to you. Now I'm going to start extending my arms out that little bit wider, almost to the point at which I'm almost like an airplane, a little bit of a wonky airplane to be honest this morning. And still rotating my fingers now. So drawing circles now with the fingers rather than the elbows across opposite sides. You might find that this is quite strong, warming for the top of the shoulders, and the top of the arms. Whoop, and then back in that direction. And extending the fingers out. Now I'm going to point the fingers up towards the ceiling or the sky. And pressing the palms away. As I do so, really feeling that warming, intense stretch now along the back of the arms, across the wrists. And really feel as though you're reaching all the way up with the fingers towards the uh, ceiling or the sky. And then clenching the fingers into a fist, and pointing the uh, knuckles down towards the floor as you uh, press away along the top of the arms now, along towards the top of the wrists, towards either side of the room. So again, you might feel that slight warming now along the top of the arms, across the wrists, and all the way along the top of the hands. Extending the fingers back out again, bringing the arms in alongside, and just shaking the wrists out, shaking the shoulders out again, just giving them a nice stretch. I'm going to move myself back a little bit. I like I'm clicking the top with my head on the screen. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so let's now rotate, uh, tilt our head back. Feeling that stretch now along the jawline, all the way along towards the Adam's apple, chin to chest, using the weight of the head just to lengthen along the back of the neck and across the top of the shoulders, lifting the head back up into a neutral position, 
Lowering the right ear now down towards the right shoulder, extending the left arm away. Feeling the intensity of that stretch now all the way along the neck, below the earlobe, on the left hand side, and all the way along towards the fingers in that left hand. Option here to take the right arm up and overhead, placing it above the left ear, and gently pressing down. So lowering that right ear down, down towards the right shoulder, while at the same time reaching away with the left fingers. Now option to take the uh, hand towards the back of the head and just slowly lowering the chin now down towards the uh, right armpit. So feeling the stretch along the back of the left side of the neck. And taking the palm across the forehead, lifting the chin up, and feeling the stretch now along the front left side of the neck. Taking the hand away now from the head, slowly lifting the head back up to the centre, bringing the palms back in, tilt the head back again, chin to chest going forward, lifting the head back up into a neutral position, and lowering the left ear now across to the left shoulder, reaching the right arm away. So again, the stretch might feel quite different on either side, and maybe even closing the eyes to really tune into those sensations you're experiencing, those feelings in the body. As you stretch, lowering that left ear down towards the left shoulder and right fingers reaching away. Option here to take the left arm up and overhead, bringing it across above the right ear, gently pressing down to intensify the stretch along the right side. Bringing the hand around the back of the head and just lowering the chin now down towards the uh, left armpit. Feeling the stretch along the back of the right side of the neck. Palm across the forehead, lifting the chin up. Feeling the stretch along the front right side of the neck. And then taking the hand away, bringing the head back up into a neutral position. And we go from there. Okay, let's now take our right arm up and overhead. Perhaps I'll take myself back a little bit further. Go. A little bit further. Ooh. Right, right arm up and overhead. And I'm going to take, bend that right elbow and just place, I'm just going to turn around just for a moment so you can see what's happening. So I'm lifting that right arm up, bending the right elbow and placing the palm uh, between the shoulder blades. Now, if that feels too strong at all, bring the palm back towards the, um, to that right shoulder. Okay? Right, I'll turn back around to the front. So lifting that right palm up and overhead, bending the elbow, palm between the uh, shoulder blades, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears and back. Left arm now to the side, bringing the left hand across and reaching over towards the right elbow. And as you do so, you'll feel that stretch now all the way along from the right elbow down the right side of the body towards the right hip and that opening as well across the uh, shoulders and the chest and the top of the back. I'm taking the hand, the left hand away from the right elbow, out towards the side, right arm up and overhead and back down. Same on the opposite side, left arm up, reaching those fingers away, bending the left elbow. Left palm between the shoulder blades, right arm out to the side, right hand across to the top of the left elbow. There's a tendency here for the ribs just to start sticking forward. So just gently bringing them back in again and just keeping the chin nice and even with the ground. So taking that hand away from the elbow, left arm up and back down again. Now we're gonna expand our arms out. Inhaling, lifting our chin as we do so. As we did earlier in the week, just turning those thumbs away from the body, just to maximize that space across the chest and the front of the arms. Shoulder blades knitting together. And we're gonna bring our left arm across our right and towards the center, elbows across the center, and then back out again. Inhaling, look up, opening up, exhaling, right hand, right arm over left, this time left, over right again. An option here either to stay in this position and just gently walking the fingers round towards the top of the shoulder blades, or if the elbows are crossing in the middle, and just slowly lifting the arms up fingers pointing up towards the ceiling or sky. The backs of the hands, either the backs of the forearms, resting against one another, 
or spiraling the forearms and placing the uh, palms pressing into one another. Whatever position you find yourself in, on each inhale, feel as though you're lifting up. On each exhale, you're pressing the elbows away. Just to open up that space across the upper back, the shoulder blades, and then unraveling the hands or whatever position you found yourself in, extending the arms back out again. As you inhale, exhaling, right arm over left. Inhaling to expand, extend along the arms. Exhaling, left over right. Inhaling to expand. And exhaling, right arm now over left. Again, options just to crawl the fingers around the top of the shoulders again. Just to deepen into that stretch across the upper back. Or option to lift the arms, the fingers up. And rest in either the palms or the forearms against the back of one another. Or well, again, spiralling the forearms and pressing the palms into one another. And as before, whatever position you find yourself in, inhaling to lift and exhaling to press those elbows away as far as feels comfortable to you. So unraveling, inhaling to expand and exhaling, hands back across the knees. Now I'm just going to turn myself sideways on. Feel free to stay in your same position looking forward. Oh, crikey. And um, what I'm going to do is um, take my hands now across the back of the chair. I'm going to lift up, so pressing down through the balls of the feet, lifting the chin up towards the ceiling, opening up across the chest and the shoulders, really feeling as though we're rolling the, rolling the shoulders back, shoulder blades knitting in towards one another. And just using that lever that we've got with the palms across either side of the chair, just to introduce a subtle back bend, back extension for the body. The heart really lifts up towards the sky. Option here, if you ease out that stretch for the second time, is to interlock the fingers. Again, rolling the shoulders back, lengthening the arms away, straightening the elbows, looking up towards the sky, opening across the chest and the shoulders lengthening along the spine. Okay, I'll bring myself back down towards the centre. Uh, so from here, we're going to take our feet and our knees that little bit wider. We're going to interlock our fingers and as we did earlier in the week, we're going to start stirring. Stirring that pot of imaginary porridge that we're eating in the morning and just allowing our upper body weight to sink down in one direction and then the other. And this is preparing us for our next pose, which will be a, our next stretch, which will be a seated forward fold. Okay. We finish rotating in either direction, just bringing ourselves back to a neutral position in the centre. And I'm going to keep my feet and knees just that little bit wider. I'm going to inhale as I lift my arms up and overhead, shoulders away from the ears, and gently folding forward. And as I do so, we're really lengthening along the arms, lengthening along the spine, allowing the upper body just to sink down. Um, between the uh, between the thighs, folding forward um, below the hips, and I'm taking my hands here and I'm gripping onto the chair legs. And I'm lowering myself down to a position that feels comfortable to me. If you might find you still want to keep your head at uh, hip height, if you start feeling a bit dizzy, lightheaded, if you lower the head that bit lower than the waist, but just go to a position that feels comfortable to you. So just using those chair legs as a lever just to allow your upper body just to sink forward. Just holding this for a few breaths. Slowly lifting yourself back up again, nice and gentle. And then bring up. Perfect. Right, let's bring ourselves back to the centre. I'll just bring yourself forward again. Oh, a bit too far forward. Okay. So bringing ourselves back into our original seated position again. So really feeling that grounding down again through all four corners of the feet, palms across the knees, closing the eyes again. And just settling back into this space. As we've gone through our 15 minute stretch this morning, just being proud of the fact you've taken this 15 minutes out, sharing this space together to prioritize your physical and mental health and well-being. 
while also supporting some amazing local charities at the forefront of the uh, coronavirus pandemic response. Hopefully this has eased any aches or tensions that you may have had in the body this morning, allowed you to deepen and lengthen the breath in some way, and invite some calm to body and mind, and really giving you that feel-good factor start to the day. Nice soft gaze, open the eyes. Thank you for joining me this morning. I really hope you've enjoyed this session. Really pleased for any of you guys that have joined me on all four so far. Absolutely fantastic effort. And if this is your first time with me, then please come back again. As I said at the start, share, comment on the posts, and you will be, um, all the classes, and you'll be entered into a prize draw at the end of the six week challenge. And um, I really hope to see you again uh, soon, hopefully tomorrow, for the final day in our first week of the challenge.